So hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now, as I'm making this video, there is only a couple of hours to go until Rev on Tuli Coast releases for everyone on all platforms. So I decided it was about time that I made kind of a guide going over my favourite spots on the map to find certain species, uh, going over most of the need zone times for certain species that I found on the map, showing you guys where all the lookout towers are and all the outposts are, all of that good stuff now there may be certain bits that are not quite complete or bits that change or are slightly different for you um, especially when we get to the need zone times bits there may be a couple of need zone times that I've missed but that's just because they weren't on my map and I haven't found them yet we have only had a few days to actually go through everything and I've done my best to fully explore the map and get as much information down as possible so yeah as you can see on screen I'm currently going around and just showing you guys what's in what areas the very north part of the map is actually one of my favorite areas as it's extremely open and because it's so open it means you can see for a really really long distance so it's really good fun to go up there and hunt the the black grouse the capercaillie and then of course you've got the the moose and the white tail up there and the hazel grouse and the rock ptarmigan it's just a really good spot up in the far north and then coming down into a more southern area here you can see again the species list there in the bottom left corner you'll start to see more grey lag geese coming down this way mallard eurasian teal mountain hares as well there's always mountain hares everywhere pretty much anywhere on the map you can find mountain hares which is pretty cool and then coming down into this section of the map is where you'll start finding some of your raccoon dogs uh, again mountain hare brown bear canada geese moose lynx again lynx are pretty much everywhere on this map as well which is really really cool um, and it's in these areas where I've started to see the grey lag geese and tufted ducks turning up as well. I haven't seen a whole lot of the duck species actually passing over the sort of inland lakes. And I have actually been going around at different times looking for them, but I just haven't found many of them actually in zones. But like I said, these this is like a rough guide of just where I have found things in certain areas. And you can see I'm scrolling over need zones as well, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now, going through into this area, lots of raccoon dogs in this area, lots of willow ptarmigan. This entire area here is my absolute favourite for hunting the raccoon dogs and the willow ptarmigan. I have a really good time actually running those species in through the trees in this area. You can have some really good fun if you like run around on the roads and then try and flush them into the, the more open areas. It's really, really good fun. I really like that area. And then moving up into here, again, we just start to see the tundra bean geese. They seem to be sort of going more north parts of the map, whereas the grey lags seem to be more southerly. That's just what I've seen so far. Like I said, you guys might find different. I've been trying to collect as much information in the past few days as possible. So like I said, if anything's wrong, I do apologise, but I am trying my best with the information I've gathered. And you'll also see in this area the rock ptarmigan. I've seen golden eye, tufted duck, and I've had, like I said, the tundra bean geese coming into setups as well. Hazel grouse, again, lynx. Again, you're going to see mountain hares in this area, which is really, really cool. I love the mountain hares. They're pretty much everywhere, like I said. In and around the sort of starting outpost and this area here, kind of, I have seen some black grouse as well. So they do come down into the into the trees, as like I said before. So that's kind of just a quick run through of some of the main areas in on the map and just to show you guys sort of like the raccoon dogs grey lag geese but if you go a bit more southerly you should find those and you know your tundra bean geese etc i tend to find more in the north but again just my experiences now this little island i have found to be perfect for all of your duck species i haven't seen any of the geese species out here yet but i have seen every single one of the duck species that is on this map so if you want to go and put duck setups anywhere this is a really really good place to start on this little island in the very sort of far south area of the map it's a really really good spot and there's actually some almost like lakes within the island which are really good for actually putting decoys on and that's what i've been doing now 
like I said, it was just a really, really brief sort of going through there and showing you guys, giving you a bit more of a, a, a rough idea as to where I've been finding things. I hope that was somewhat useful. A lot of the species are really spread out across the map, so you'll find most species pretty much everywhere. It's just you'll notice that there'll be more willow ptarmigan. I found more willow ptarmigan in the south, more rock ptarmigan in the north. Those kind of things is what I was trying to get across. So here you can see I have a map with all of the lookout towers circled. I do also have a map that's going to come up with all of the outposts. Here you go with every single one of the outposts that I have found. I don't know if there's any hidden outposts that I may have missed, but these are all of the main ones. I will have these maps uh, in one of my channels in my Discord, which I will put a link to in the video description. So if you guys want to, you know, actually put these maps onto your phone or whatever so you can look at them in more detail, I will put them in there as well for you guys i like i said i've been trying to compile as much useful information as possible just to help you guys out a bit and give you guys a bit of a head start now moving on to the need zone times i have put on here all of the need zone times that i could find for every species on the map now you'll see some of them like golden eye i haven't found anything other than a rest zone but you know, like I said, I have been trying to go around, trying to work out as many need zones and need zone times as possible. So I'm sorry if there's some that are missing, but hopefully these will give you guys a good enough idea to go and get started and then you can work from that. With the ducks especially, I haven't really found the need zones to be too important since i found that beautiful island down in the south i just set up decoys down there and get most of them coming in but the need zones are useful in terms of if you're looking for places to set up decoys if you find an area where those birds are frequenting and they have you know a need zone in that area then you know that's a good place to set up some decoys and that's what i did for the gray lag geese as i explained in my waterfowl video so like i said i hope that this will be somewhat useful and I'm, I, I really do apologize if there are any times missing i really did try my best so fingers crossed that this will be helpful for you guys and like i said just give you a bit of a head start i think i got most of the important drink times and stuff on there that you guys might be interested in for whitetail and moose and brown bear etc so yeah that's pretty much that's all that's going to be in this video it's just to give you guys a little bit of a quicker video going through a couple of things going through those couple of maps and yeah just going through the info that I thought might give you guys a little bit of a head start when when you get onto this map. It's a really really fabulous map and like I said you'll find most of the species in most places. There's never really a dull moment when you're running through the forest. There's always seems to be something flying over the top of you or running around in front of you to actually shoot. So I really hope you guys are going to enjoy this map as much as I have. The early access has been amazing and I really again want to thank EW for letting me take part in the early access and to all of you guys for actually getting me here to a point where I could take part in the early access. It really does mean the world and I hope that this helps give back to you guys with like I said with some information that hopefully will give you guys a bit of a head start and yeah hopefully it will be useful as you go and actually start out looking for cool things on this map and i hope you guys find lots and lots of cool trophies now i mentioned i'll be linking my discord in the description of the video please 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 feel free to share any new trophies you get off of the off of the new map or off of any of the maps that have been reset whatever i do really enjoy seeing what you guys are getting and it's always cool with a brand new map seeing all the new rares and stuff that people find once everyone has access to this map of course you know with more people out there with the map and looking for stuff more stuff gets found so it'll be really cool to see what rare variations and stuff turn up i'm really really looking forward to it so like i said link will be in the description if you want to join please feel free and i'll really look forward to seeing and hearing about all your guys's really cool trophies that you you'll hopefully be finding but like i said i'm going to stop rambling now thank you guys so so much for watching i really appreciate it as always thank you and i will see you guys in the next video thank you